So hey everyone and welcome back and here is an alternative to the third party plugin Twixter. It's called Optical Flow and it's built into Premiere Pro so you don't need to install anything at all. So yeah, let's get started. Also do keep in mind that this will not look as good as Twixter, it's an alternative meaning that it's not going to be uh, absolutely perfect, especially if you're going to use clips from animation like I am, so yeah. So to get started, have your clip ready, I have this scene from a silent voice right here and what you need to do is remove all these still frames in the clip. So I'm I'm going to press C on my keyboard to get the razor tool and every time the character's hair moves I'm going to trim the clip so one as you can see it just moved I'm going to move one frame again it hasn't moved so I'm just going to move one more time and as you can see it just moved there once again so if I go one two it moved so I'm just going to cut it again one two cut it again depending on what you're trying to twix that it will be different so in this case every two frames the character's hair moves and so I need to make a cut every two frames so once I'm done I'll be back so yeah as you can see I've made all my cuts and also I know that the timeline looks a little bit different but that's because I've zoomed in yours will probably look something like this but it will not make a difference until later anyways what you want to do next is now turn these into one frames so as you can see I have a lot of two frame clips right here we're going to trim them to one frame so I'm just going to pull it back and then ripple delete and do the same for every single one of the clips turn them into one frame so now if I do play it back it's going to look extremely smooth because every one frame the character moves or at least their hair as you can see every one frame it moves and the reason why it looks so smooth is because we've removed all these still frames so yeah now what we want to do is highlight all of these frames and then right click and click on nest and then ok now it's going to turn into a nested sequence now next up what you want to do is expand uh, the uh, section so my clip is on V one what i'm going to do is just expand it just like this if i let go it's going to look like this or you can simply just hold alt on your keyboard and then use the mouse wheel to expand it just like that you need to have your mouse wheel over here though not like on the timeline now what you want to do is click on the effects box right here and it is extremely small so you might not be able to see it but it's right there simply just right click and then head over to time remapping and then speed next up you want to right click on the clip and then head over to time interpolation and then optical flow now you're not going to see a difference but that's because you haven't actually slowed it down yet so what you want to do is just click and drag this bar right here down all the way to around let's say 20 percent but it depends how slow you want your clip and now you're going to get this red bar at the top of your timeline this means that it requires rendering so if you do play it back as you can see it's not really working simply just hit enter on your keyboard and it should start to render and now if you do play it back as you can see it's in slow motion and it works pretty well now of course it's not going to be perfect just like twixter you can clearly see there are warps at the bottom right there but besides that everything else seems to be perfect now if you do set it back to 100 you can try some other things so towards the start if i just hold control and then just click a keyframe will appear and i'm going to do the same for the end so hold control and click and i'm going to just pull the first keyframe to the right and i'm going to pull the last keyframe to the left and then i'm going to click and hold the band in the middle all the way down to around 20 percent i'm going to drag these keyframes to the left i'm going to speed it up on the right side by like let's say 20% and now if I render it again it looks something like this so as you can see it like slows down and then speeds up anyways that is it for this video and I'm sorry if this did not make any sense I did mess up recording this a couple of times but thank you for watching have a great day and I will see you in the next video so yeah peace